Okay, this has been bothering me for a while. America's public enemy number one is drug abuse. Okay, so this is the official DEA website, Drug Enforcement Administration, a United States federal agency under the Department of Justice. Psilocybin, what is it? Hallucinogenic chemical obtained from certain types of fresh and dried mushrooms. Okay, so I can live with that definition. Okay, street name, shrooms. Wow, how about this? How does it affect the body? Overdose may result in panic or death. This is fear-mongering. Where is it found? Wow. Only three places in the world. Amazing. How is it abused? Hallucinogens can hurt our emotional well-being and happiness. How about that? Just look at the diction used right there. How is it abused? Not how is it ingested? How is it used medically and recreationally? What are its overdose effects? psychosis and possible death. Notice how virtually all of the language on this website is just extremely alarmist. And another thing I notice is that there are no links to any sources or any kind of studies, any kind of peer-reviewed white papers, and there's no names attached to this report. It's just anonymous DEA information because they seem to be the authority on magic mushrooms. Okay, so let's go to this website, Get Smart About Drugs. Wow, this is Linked to the DEA, of course. Oh, let's find out where mushrooms fits on this. Okay, this will be rich. So, video lesson, hallucinogens. Mm. We're gonna find out what the DEA and its partner organizations have to say about hallucinogens. What should you do if someone comes up to you and says, hey, do you wanna uh, take a trip? They're not really offering to take you on a trip somewhere. They're offering you drugs called hallucinogens. Things like LSD, acid, PCP, hallucinogenic mushrooms, or peyote. Dude is loaded. He's rolling deep. Looks like he's on his way to Bonnaroo. Hallucinogens can hurt our emotional well-being and happiness by messing with a neurotransmitter in the brain called serotonin. So, if someone offers these to you, say, no. I'm happy as I am. Or, nope, not my idea of fun. Looking at the YouTube link here, there is not a single link to any peer-reviewed study or anything. But hold on, I'm about to get to that. Wow, okay, so that's what the DEA has linked to. Fortunately, it's only got 1,800 views, but I'm willing to bet that it's been showed internally and at any number of different DEA functions, probably toured across the United States to schools, and they probably spent a shitload of money on that video. Okay, so we've got the DEA's perspective on psilocybin mushrooms. We've got their hallucinogens are a bad trip video that they've curated and so lovingly provided for us, the tax-paying public. But what about actual scientists that are independent from industry and from government who are evaluating the data related to psilocybin mushrooms and entheogens without obvious bias? And for that, we can head over to Drug Research UK. Yes, the truth about drugs. Oh, I I thought I just found out the truth about drugs. Okay, our story. Wow, founded by a professor. Wow, Professor David Nutt. That's the first name that we've seen attached to any of this media and public facing information about psilocybin mushrooms. Wow, psilocybin is a therapy for depression? Psilocybin, there's the molecular structure. Be good to, good to get to know it. Look at this, more than 180 psilocybin containing mushrooms found all over the world. I thought they were just found in three countries. Oh man, there's a good deal more information and substantiation for all of the claims here. Call me naive, but this report seems a bit more in-depth and substantive than whatever the DEA is shoveling at us. Okay, medical risks involved with psilocybin mushrooms. We conclude that the medical risks are often minimal. This is in direct factual opposition to the statements made by the DEA. Wow. Fascinating. So there you have it. Turns out the only boogeyman here is the DEA itself. On behalf of the general public of the United States, we appreciate your concern, DEA, but I think your department's overdue for a rebrand.